Right, it's been a while since I've done uh, just a tech review that isn't related to sim racing. Um, but I bought a new pair of headphones the other day, specifically the Pioneer HDJ X5s. Now these are DJ headphones primarily, which is why you find me standing in a DJ booth. Um, I've been a DJ of what, 15, 16, 17 years now. Um, I don't do much of it these days. Um, but I used to play in you know, small clubs, bars and pubs for, you know, probably 12 to 15 years. Um, al you know, almost earning a full-time living out of it. So I've done a fair bit of DJing. I've been through a fair few pairs of headphones. Now, my old Technics headphones that I've had for over 10 years finally gave up the other day. And um, I thought, well, let's go on YouTube and look for some reviews of DJ headphones. And to be honest, there wasn't much out there. And specifically these ones, these HDJ X5s from Pioneer. Pioneer, you know, along with Technics, they're the industry standard when it comes to DJ equipment. That's what you'll find in all the clubs um, and what have you. You know, the CDJs, the DDJs, uh, the Nexus line. It's, it's what you find everywhere. So naturally, you go to Pioneer, you know, you see a pair of Pioneer headphones and you assume they're gonna be good. Now these are part of a range, there's the HDJ X5, which is the bottom of the range, which is what I've got here, they're about 80 quid. Then there's the X7s and the X10s, and they go up incrementally. So I think the X7s are 130, 140, and then the X10s is just over 200, something like that. I can't quite remember. But anyway, if you're here, aside from my regular viewers who are wondering what the, is Carl doing in a DJ booth, if you're here, it's because you've been looking for a review of these, so you know how much they cost. Uh, and that's why you're looking at them, because you probably want a pair. So, let's talk about all the things that are important to us as DJs when it comes to headphones. Two things spring to mind, first of all. Comfort, and of course, audio quality. How they actually sound. There's no point having a, uh, a really comfortable set of headphones, but that they sound crap. So they're really the only two things that matter. And of course, I suppose longevity as well, whether they're robust or not, because they get a bit of a beating, you know, uh, being carried around from one gig to another. So I had a goosey at these on YouTube. There was a couple of three reviews, but not to put other YouTubers down. I didn't think they were particularly good, which is why I thought I'd do one um, and just give my thoughts on them. Now, I particularly like the design of these headphones. I think they're available in silver as well, but I've got the black ones. We'll take a little close up here now. And I particularly like the design of these. It's very simple. It's a very clean aesthetic. Let's try and get that focused. There we go. Yeah, it's a very clean as aesthetic. You know, I simple and and just plain black. You've got a silverish sort of ring around here just to accent it a little bit. You've got the Pioneer DJ logo there if you can see it yeah i think you can and you've got pioneer dj on the headband as well so it's a pretty simple pretty clean look which for me i quite like we've also got this sort of and you can hear that but it's like a grippy surface at the bottom there and the same around the edge here which makes it not you know it's just a little something to to hold on to really um the the cups themselves very soft very squishy, and I've, I've put a few hours in with these already. They're very comfortable to use, no issue there whatsoever. The, the headband itself feels, you know, of a similar sort, of, well, I'm gonna say it's exactly the same material. So that feels pretty, pretty sweet too. Um, so comfort-wise, I'm gonna say they're very comfortable. Obviously, they, they're, they're just for different head sizes, so you've got no issue there whatsoever. Um, they're not too springy, so they're not gonna be too tight on your head, and I think they're tested to something like 20,000 opening and closes, or something along those lines for longevity. Um, so they should last a fair while. Obviously they rotate 90 degrees, as you would expect. Both of those, they're not sprung, they don't spring back into position, which my old Technics did, but I've not found it an issue, so if, if that's important to you, maybe, um, you know, maybe you'll look at some slightly different ones. They do articulate round that way, I've got no reason to do that, I don't know why you would, but they, <laughs> but they do. Uh, and to fold away, um, you can squeeze them together in the middle, and then you can push them up like that. Uh, and put them in there, they come in a little carry case, like all headphones do. So that's how you would pack them away. Also, this cable here, 
It's a twist and push fit. So it's got a tiny little, what I'm gonna call two and a half mil um, TRRS plug. Yeah, I think it is. And it's like an inverse bayonet fitting. So you think of a light bulb, that's a bayonet fitting. The light bulb would have two little bits that stick out and you push it in the light fit and you twist it. This is the inverse of that. The, the, bit, the little bits would normally poke into a here, one either side. So, and you know, they're actually in there. So you push it in and you just find the locating spot and you give it a little twist and that's it. It's locked in there, really solid. You're not gonna have any trouble. The cable itself has a, a coil section to keep it short so you're not tripping over it, but also to allow you to wander over, you know, to the other side of the booth if you need to. Uh, maybe you need to make an adjustment to something or maybe there's someone calling you over for a request that you probably don't want to play anyway. Um, but yes, there is the coil springy section if you want to do that. We get a um, two and a half mil to six and a quarter or whatever the hell the big one is. Adapter, it screws on, which is nice. There's, you know, it's not just a push on one. There's no danger of that falling out. Uh, and it is, of course, gold plated, as you can see. So I like the way they look. I like the way they feel on my head. They're comfortable. Uh, they're not too hard. They're not too heavy either. They're, they're sort of like, I don't know how to describe the weight really. Not too heavy, not too light. They feel just nice. Everything about them feels like, you know, pretty decent quality as well. So that's a closer look at them. Um, you know, I, I like them. I've got no issue with them. I just hit my microphone, so maybe you'll hear that. But you'll see, you know, I've, I was about to say I've got an average size head. I have no idea what size my head is. Maybe it's an average size head. But I don't have them on the smallest setting. I have them clicked out probably a couple of, probably three clicks, I would say. And that's about right for me. Fits just nicely. When it's sitting around my neck here, again, it's not, it's not pushing against the throat like some headphones do. It's just nice. You can flick them out if you want to breathe a little easier. Um, so yeah, they fit on the head nicely. They fit around the neck nicely. The build quality feels good. I like the softness of the material they've used for the ear cups and the headband. I think that's quite nice. Even, even the, the cable itself, the rubber, it feels very soft, but also durable, if you know what I mean. I, I, don't <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean, but that's how it feels. So I haven't got any complaints um, about them at all, comfort-wise, build quality-wise, um, and as far as the accessories it comes with as well. I haven't, I haven't used the little carry bag, because these days I'm not playing out anywhere, nightclubs are closed, a lot of bars are still closed, and to be honest, I kind of retired from playing out, you know, a while ago now. Where you see me here is my home setup. Um, I sold my CDJ Nexus 2000s, and I'm just using this new little Newmark Mixed Tracks Platinum Effects, which came out a couple of weeks ago. They're only 250 quid. Um, you know, why do I need three grand CDJs or DDJs when I'm playing from home? So, you know, I got rid of those. That money can go into other things. But this little thing works a treat, by the way, should you be needing a Serato controller. Anyway, headphones. Yeah, so the next thing I suppose we want to talk about is how they sound, which of course is the second most important thing after the fit, the feel and the comfort. Uh, they sound excellent. I have no problem recommending these as far as the way they sound. The high end is clear and well defined. The mid range is clear. The bass is a touch boomy. Um, only a touch though. Not too much, not so much that it drowns or muddies out the high end, but it is a touch boomy. Um, I don't have a headphone EQ on this little controller because it is relatively entry level. So if I did, I'd probably just take the bass down just a touch on the, on the headphone output. Um, it, I'll say it isn't too much. You, you, it doesn't make them any way unusable. It doesn't make it difficult to mix. It's just the bass is a touch boomy, is a touch more pronounced uh, rather than a flatter response curve. But aside from that, they sound lovely, and they still sound lovely, even with a little bit of extra, you know, bass elevation there that perhaps I think shouldn't be there, but they still sound great. Uh, Volume-wise, I think they go up to 2,000 milliwatts, which is basically two watts. Obviously, this is for headphones, not you can't compare that to speakers, because if you had a two-watt speaker, it would barely make any noise at all. But um, yes, yeah, 2,000 milliwatts, so Two watts frequency response is five hertz, 
you know, for your base end and 30 kilohertz um, for your high end. Now, humans can't hear over 20 anyway. And most of us who have been DJing for years are probably down to about 16 kilohertz. So these will put out far more treble than we will ever hear. Uh, and the bass response, as I say, is actually quite strong. The lows come through, like, whilst it's strong, it is clear, it's not a muddy bass. Um, so, it's, you know, like I say, don't take it as a negative, it's just thought, it's, I thought it's something I should, should mention, you know, because compared to my Technics ones, um, they, the bass was, it was more of a flatter response on the Technics. Um, the drivers themselves, as I've just read on here, are 40 mil in size, should you want to know the size of the drivers. So they're neither small nor large, I'd say that's probably an average size driver for, for a pair of DJ headphones. Um, but yeah, I can't really fault them. If you want to know about things like the packaging, then listen on, because I may as well tell you, they came packed really well. Pioneer, Pioneer do do a nice job of packaging things. When you open this up, um, it's all really well presented. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice unboxing experience. We're not going to do an unboxing because it's a little bit boring. But when you buy them and you get them home and you open them up, you will have a nice time getting your box open and getting your new um, X5s out. So I would happily recommend these two anyone that needs a new pair of DJ headphones. The X10s, I believe, can take another watt of power. So if you are playing somewhere really, really loud, you know, or maybe you just, you really like loud monitor speakers in the booth, then, um, then perhaps you want the, the more powerful ones. But for most of us, and all the venues I've played in, you know, I haven't played in big clubs, they're only small clubs in towns and pubs and bars and that. These would be absolutely fine. I'd have no trouble, um, you know, using those. They wouldn't be too quiet. There's plenty of volume there. Um, plenty of volume, plenty of clarity. The quality is good. They're comfortable. I don't really know what else to tell you about them. If they're in, if that's, you know, if you're in your price bracket around 80 notes, then, um, then these, I would say, are the ones to get. I've got no issues with them whatsoever. There will be some links in the description, eBay, Amazon, should you want to grab some. So that would be appreciated if you did, because I get small commission, it all goes towards the channel. I'd appreciate it. But yes, I recommend these um, for the price point. I think they're a good set of headphones. L like I say, 80 odd notes, my Technics to replace them now for the same ones are about 120 quid. Uh, and to be honest, apart from these having touch more bass, boominess, um, they, they perform just as well as what the Technics do for, you know, for less money. So yeah, should you need some DJ headphones, Pioneer HDJ X5s, get my seal of approval, so to speak. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Um, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.